The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Presented by the Colgate Palm Olive Tea Company, makers of Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth and help stop tooth decay. And Palm Olive Soap for a lovelier complexion in 14 days. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. to meet that my little boy here my partner jerry lewis hello jerry how are you <laughs> it's a nice funny? place you have here very nice very nice we don't have anything like this in hollywood <laughs> i make pictures you see <laughs> well I, I do hope you'll make yourself at home and enjoy yourself uh, this is uh she married mike Zest my there, Zest you know? is yeah, very yeah. nice. So you should be very happy night. with this very lovely sure. girl. You know, I haven't been to a wedding in some time, and you feel kind of strange. You don't know how to act, <laughs> especially with a new bride. <laughs> could hug you and make up with you. I'm not going to make up with you, Shirley. Every time I keep on going, <laughs> you see what this is, the Geneva? But you don't understand, Ella. I don't understand what? What I don't understand? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what I don't understand? I went to the party, so I lost my head for a second. Give the chance to kids. <laughs> Nerve, such a dog. I never heard such a 
such a thing. All right, I'm sorry, so I made a mistake. I'm entitled, I'm young. <laughs> I'm entitled, I'm young. What are you hitting everything up in the air for? I'm entitled to talk the way I want. I don't plan it, it comes out that way. What do you mean? <laughs> All the time, you, you're through with the words at the end of the sentence. You, you, there's a period there. You don't need this anymore. You would say, I'm going to the corner. Not, I'm going to the corner. <laughs> Who talks like this? How do I know who talks? What is that? Don't song. you step your foot in me, Ethel. <laughs> you know what to say, and it's my turn to stay out here by myself for, eh, Jane? <laughs> Later. What? Bye. Bye. See, we really kid around. Where's the... Oh. You see, we really kid around. We don't do none of this for real. But if we were to walk out like partners and say, well, we're so happy to be here, aren't we, Dean? He says, ha, ha, ha. Of course, ain't you? I say, ha, ha. There's nothing interesting about that, but when you yell and you scream <laughs> and you are very right? And people say, isn't that puny? Now, oh. I gotta move over here. I can't stand over here where I was. My kid with the earphone, he goes, over there. Over there. I'll have you know, I know Mr. Colgate first. Oh, no. Ladies, in a very few words, I'd like to say that you want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. And you couldn't buy a finer beauty soap than palm olive. Look, here's what I mean. Sis, I want to take a beauty bath, just like you do. All right, sweetie. Here's my bath-sized palm olive. Yes, you want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. And your bath becomes a beauty bath when you change to proper cleansing with palm olive soap. Nothing could be finer in your bath to cleanse, refresh, relax you. So to enjoy a bath that's truly a beauty bath, Always use big, generous, bath-sized palm olive soap. You want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. You want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. You want palm olive soap for a beauty bath. You want palm olive soap for your beauty bath. You love its fragrance for daintiness. You love its mildness for loveliness. You want its purity for gentleness. You love palm olive bath-sized for thriftiness. Sis, did you see the palm olive pixies? The what, dear? Look! You want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. Well, I don't see anything there but my bath size palm olive. You want palm olive soap for a beauty bath. You want palm olive soap for your beauty bath. Yes, you want palm olive soap for your beauty bath. <laughs> in the drive-in theater, honey. Gee, isn't it exciting? Uh, you know, honey, this is the first time we've ever been in one of these outdoor movies. Oh, we're going to love this. We oh, don't have I to fight it. for seats, no crowding, you know. Now, just sit back, relax, enjoy oh, the picture. it's wonderful. Wonder where the attendant is. Hey, hey, hey there! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's with the blowing on the horn, buddy? What's with the blowing on the horn? Well, I want to see the picture. Why, you don't blow the horn, eh? You don't blow the horn, eh? You don't have to tell me things twice. I didn't pay twice. All right, don't blow it on, all right? Don't blow it on. People trying to see the movie. <laughs> What's on your mind? Nothing. I just want to buy a couple of tickets. I want to see the picture. All right, how many are you? Twelve. How many does it look like? <laughs> There's two here, me and my girl. <laughs> how many are there? You're one, I'm one. That's <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> two is right. <laughs> okay, that'll be two dollars, please. Two dollars? Cash? <laughs> what do you want to give me, Confederate money? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the tag. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the movie that the night you played in the whole world. You see a movie, you sit under the stars and I everything. I bet you didn't believe it was just me and my girl here. Huh? No, well, I gotta check these things. I'm only working here to see that people don't sneak in. This is your girl, huh? Yep. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, sir, boy. <laughs> Zippity doo dah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was just trying to be friendly, you know, to let people have a good time here. See the picture? See the picture? Here's your speaker. And All with right. this speaker, you hear everything that goes on in the movie. There you are. Okay. Okay? Solid. Fine. Well, enjoy yourself. All right. Hey, hey. Come in. This won't upset you or anything? What? This won't upset you what I'm going to tell you? I don't know what you're going to tell me. Would you point me out the screen? <laughs> screen? Yeah, the screen. We had one before. <laughs> point it out to me. <laughs> what? Ah. Oh, yeah. Eh? Huh? That ain't it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It's about two miles straight ahead. You can't miss it. Two miles. Give me a cab. You'll see a good picture there. Yeah. Go look at the picture. Okay. <laughs> determines anyone's opinion. 
Oh, I've traveled far and wide, and I've known the black and many men. But still it all, if you know truly that your heart don't know, you certainly can't assure the next one, can you? <laughs> Sure you don't know that bum? I never saw him before in my life. I think he's crazy. Now, come on, let's go home. Oh, please. But I don't want to. No longer. I want to see how the picture ends. Okay. <laughs> We're getting away, Regan. There you go. Follow that car. Oh, the picture. Come on, Bob. been a swell evening, but I wish you'd change your mind about that dance next Wednesday. Why won't you go with me? I'd rather not talk about it, Bob. Oh, please tell me, Kay. Have I done something I shouldn't? No, the trouble is, Bob, you haven't done something you should. Why don't you visit your dentist and ask him about, you know, unpleasing breath? And then let's talk about that dance. I'm glad you came to see me, Bob. Here are some important facts that you and everyone should know. Scientific tests have proved that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate's safe polishing agent cleans teeth thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. Dental research shows, too, that the Colgate way of brushing teeth right after eating stops tooth decay best. Yes, the Colgate way is the most thoroughly proved and accepted home method of oral hygiene known today. No other dentifrice, ammoniated or not, offers such conclusive proof. After what my dentist told me, I bought a tube of Colgate Dental Cream. And the next time I dated Kay, she said... It was a wonderful dance, Bob. Yes, it was, Kay. Thanks to you. So always remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. And the Colgate way stops tooth decay best. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's no business like show business. Today, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis are recognized as two of our foremost comedy stars. All over America, 
In nightclubs, vaudeville, radio, movies, and television, they are acclaimed by millions. But it was not always thus. Only five years ago, Dean and Jerry were two struggling young entertainers touching eagerly at the bottom rung of the ladder of success. Let us turn back the pages of time to a winter night in 1946. After playing a one-night stand in Chillicothe, Ohio, the boys traveled two sleepless days and nights in the lurching old decrepit bus. Late that same dismal night in a shabby theatrical hotel somewhere in Manhattan. Well, this is the best single in the hotel. I hope you like your room. Yeah, it's a nice room. Good room. Good room. Good room. I... <laughs> All right. What is it? What I, is it? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I brought... Oh! <laughs> then I forgot. <laughs> There's two tickets. You take a girl to nice vaudeville show when you're in Chillicothe again. <laughs> Thanks a lot, sporty. That's all right. Oh. Forget oh. it. Oh, boy. Hey, Dane, let me out. <laughs> <laughs>
about that article on tooth decay. That's right, Mrs. Carson. Reader's Digest reported the same research, which proves that brushing teeth right after eating the Colgate way stops tooth decay best. And Colgate Dental Cream, though not mentioned by name, was the one and only toothpaste used in this research. I'm not so sure I know what that means. <laughs> well, Mary Lou, pretend that Mr. Tooth an old friend of yours is taking a walk when he meets Decay. Now, no sensible tooth wants any part of Decay, so Mr. Tooth runs for the Colgate way. You know, more than two years' research showed the Colgate way of brushing teeth right after eating helped stop more decay for more people than ever before reported in all dentifrice history. Yes, the Colgate way of brushing teeth right after eating stops tooth decay best. 
brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Why cleans your teeth? Colgate toothpaste. Cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Why cleans your teeth? So always remember this, and you too, Mrs. Carson. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And the Colgate way stops tooth decay best. Oy vey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> which camera? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say that, you know, when you're working on television or in the movies, no matter where you work, you always got somebody coming over and say, hey, Minch, what happened to the camera? Oh, hey, whatever you do, mention the product I make. Cheesecake, halava, peanut brittle. You know, people do this. Well, Dean and I have so many friends, we didn't want to slight anybody. We got people in big corporations. So I'm going to give them all plugs at one time. It'll be over. Nobody can say you didn't mention it. Fisk Tires. <clears throat> They're very good. Collier's Magazine has a story on Dean and I, February 10th issue. It's quite clever. Hal Wallace is our boss in Hollywood who makes the pictures that we're in. We just finished a picture called That's My Boy, and we think it's good. <laughs> I war with the armies now at the Paramount. Colgate. Oh, yeah, on television. <laughs> had a call tonic. This is the man, Senator LeBlanc. He has had a call tonic, you know, in case you're sick. You know, whenever we do these things, when we mention these people, they send us things. This man with the tonic, tomorrow we both get a call. <laughs> Buck. <laughs> these are the jokes, let's face it. Buck. <laughs> Bucknell shirts. This is a company who puts out Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis shirts. You should buy them. We need the money. <laughs> and the Casablanca Hotel on Miami Beach is where Dean and I stay. This is a beautiful hotel, the Casablanca. They got no room, no food. Just sit outside and wait for Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> I mentioned all the people I was supposed to mention. Oh, yes, one I forgot. This is a mention we've been mentioning for close to, oh, a week. And uh, it's about four years we're mentioning Cadillac. Cadillac, fine car. <laughs> Yesterday, they came through. We got a hubcap. <laughs> now, before I do anything more, I want you ladies and gentlemen to know that up to now, you've treated us very royally. We hope it continues, of course. And the reason I've been taking this, what is it? What is it? What are you to give me signals? <laughs> Don't go making these people think like we got signals here. If I want to stay here until maybe Ash Wednesday, I'll stay here. <laughs> Nowhere to go. If Colgate likes me, they'll pay the price. What more can I say? <laughs> How much time? How much? Tell us, tell us. Five, Five minutes. We're all through now. <laughs> oh, so oh. we'll do like the other show where we ad lib, but no dirty jokes. No, no. <laughs> Every clean, like the product we're working for. Yes, Colgate. And I am a satisfied user, and I say Colgate is the best centrifuge on the market. Not because they are handling us on their show, but because they told us to say it. <laughs> head back from the cleaners. <laughs> right now, we're like, we're like, the, you're not supposed to laugh that much, fellas. Right now, we're like, where are you? Oh, right now, we'd like to give you some impressions. First, Jerry, my friend Jerry. Thanks a lot, you're my boss. Good. <laughs> we're going to do, uh, he's going to do his impression of that wonderful actress, that great man of the screen, James Cagney. <laughs> James Cagney's a great actor. <laughs> George? George, I've been the wrong guy for a long time, George. I'll tell you what, no, no applause. Don't try and make up. Later, when it's over. George? I've been the wrong guy all my life, George, but I went away. I did time, George. I'll tell you one thing, George, I had a lot of time to think. I'll tell you one thing, George, in my opinion, George, 
Go join. <laughs> now you should do it. Don't wait for them. They'll do it on their own. All you fellows standing around with these earphones and the books and the bad think that you can dictate to this audience, ho, ho, that's rich. <laughs> Enough, save it till the end of the show and give it to us in one big lump. Now, <laughs> I just made it up. My partner does for you his best impression, that of Cary Grant. This really stinks. <laughs> oh, Judy, 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 you can't pick a baby out of a man's life and expect him to go home living the way he has been. But it's not right and it's not fair. Right now, I mean, right now, Joe's impression of the ex-Prime Minister of England, ladies and gentlemen, Winston Churchill. Thanks very much. <laughs> I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dean and I went to the Palace Theater a couple of days ago. And we enjoyed the show immensely. And, and Old Time Vaudeville certainly isn't dead because we have some great performers in the profession who are still Old Time Vaudeville. Oh, <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dini. You're my boy. Yes, sir, Reebok. No. We get along swell, don't we? <laughs> now, we went to the Palace Theater. What is it? Two minutes? Oh, we can get rid of that in an hour. <laughs> now, I said that on the first show and everyone laughed. I thought I'd repeat it. Well, good night. <laughs> Well, we do this old-time vaudeville for you, and we sincerely hope you enjoy it. Richard, play it fast, because we don't have too much time. Italian friend tells me. Also for you to know. Cut. Cut, what's that mean? Well, Good night. We'll see you. Bye. The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth and help stop tooth decay. <laughs> <laughs>